today we're working on my 05 Toyota Tacoma. It's all beat up because it's already been rolled. We're putting 37 inch tires on. And this little cabinet right here is a pesky little beast that gets in the way. A lot of people take and cut these off right here, try to make a little room. What we're gonna do is completely move it back a couple inches. We already got our fender liners out and our tire off, of course. Definitely wanna do that to get started to make room to get in here and cut around this. We're gonna unbolt this bolt, it goes right down through the floor. Okay, I got the uh, carpet peeled back here inside. There's an access panel right here. And this bolt underneath here, you just have to hold that. So I'm gonna hold this from up here. And my buddy comes down there and he's gonna pull it off to the air gun. Okay, and that bolt comes right out. Real easy. Comes right out. Right out. Well, that's a demo saw to us. Now, how are you going to modify that back? We're going to move it back. We're going to take it off here and move it back to like here. So it's all the way back here. So it's nowhere near the tire rubber. They just reshape the fenders? Yeah, and we're going to cut, cut the fenders out like right here and knock all this shit with a sledgehammer back in. To get around the top of the mount, we're using the torch. Play it! That's all. That's it, right there. As you can see, now we will have no problems with, with tire clearance on that body mount. These are the tires we're gonna run. This is a Method 105 beadlock 17 by 9 wheel with the Ironman 37 by 12 5 tire. It's gonna be super sweet. Now here's the truck, and these are the tires that were on it. These are like, these are this is like a 32 basically, and uh, plenty of clearance for these. But if you want to step it up to these big dogs, you gotta do some extreme modifications. All trimmed up looking pretty good now you can see where the old mount was right here I mean where this mount was now we're gonna slide it back so basically the front edge of our mount is now gonna be where the back edge of it was now this the cab needs to be jacked up if you eyeball this you can see this edge should be parallel with this edge the whole way up and if you squint with one eye you'll see right about at this point that the front edge is just a little lower than the back edge. It's not much. To so, fix that, I'm gonna put a factory jack right here. Lifting the old cab up. Okay, they come right off. Yes, sir. Okay. So oh, look at that move. Oh, at that. oh, dude, that's off the frame. Now okay. the body's not sitting on the frame anymore. All right, we're test fitting this. And here's what we come up with. The cab has some extra steel up here. You see, this is where the mount originally went right here. This extra steel is located right here. So instead of putting this all the way back here, so it mounts it back here somewhere, we're gonna keep it on this extra plate of steel. Obviously that's there for a reason to support that cab. So we're gonna only move it back maybe to here, I guess. So set, set that up there, let's see how it looks. We're gonna end up welding this back on like right about here. Now of course this is gonna give us way more room than trimming this mount ever could have because you can see the entire spot where that mount would have been here is exposed so we're moving it way back here you could probably fit a 42 inch tire with it hey, we're gonna punch this now here's my punch we're gonna go right up through the hole well we're right on the edge of that thicker stuff but, I like you know that. that's about as far back as we can move it without running off the edge of this so right. blast a hole in that captain okay I just oh, drilled up oh. through so you can see I peeled the carpet back here already right there's the drill bit sticking up through of course we started with a small drill bit so now we're gonna drill a little bigger up inside the cab now as you can see there's a hole here actually from the factory now this is where the original mount went down inside here here's the hole I popped the plug out of it already and I knocked some of the sound editing material out there's the hole we drilled down in there 
and that just happened to line up with this hole up top here it's perfect so that's actually a good point to look for when you're doing this if we just put a bolt down through here it's just going to tweak that metal down because there's nothing to hold it this the factory hole here has a, like a pipe down in it or whatever a piece of tubing so we're going to have to do the same thing here so what we have to do is take a measurement from here down so we need it's about inch it's under inch and a half though so whoops so we're gonna need a little piece of pipe that'll slide down in there or a stack of washers or whatever the case may be okay we found this sleeve just a little sleeve we're gonna put that around the bolt we're gonna go ahead and bolt this in here I'm gonna draw that down. We're gonna, gonna we're gonna go ahead and draw it down. That will set our mount into place before we weld it. Of course, if you do a lot of stuff like this, you know you want to bolt things in place and then weld them. You never weld first, because if you weld first, then your bolts might not line up. So you Tim's down there with the air gun now, and I'm up here pretending to hold the ratchet. See how it's drawing down into the floor. That's why we put that little sleeve in there so it can only go so far. Here's where the mount was. Here's where no. everyone is. Um, you see we line it up with the edge. See we put the front edge of the mount here uh, right against this hole. It was here in the frame. Up here is our, where our old mount location was in the body. Of course there's where our new one is. Got a little seat clamp on here just to hold this snug against the frame. Tim's gonna pretend like he knows how to weld now and put that on there. If you have any questions or comments, just leave a public comment below and I'll reply to you personally. I'm doing lots of mods on this second gen Tacoma, including a 5.7 liter Tundra V8 engine swap. And I have a super sweet budget built first gen Tacoma. And lots of other toys too. Subscribe so you don't miss any action on Whiplash DVD.